So you guys know that I have never, 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 never been a fan of the masks. And I think, I really do think they are a way to create a more docile society. I think they are going to inhibit people from expressing themselves. I also think that for some people, it is not actually healthy to wear a mask, either because they have medical reasons, they have problems with their lungs, they're immunocompromised, or they could have emotional reasons for uh, it being really difficult. For example, if you have claustrophobia, it's going to be very difficult for you to wear a mask for an extended period of time. But given that I generally wear a MAGA mask at this point, which annoys all of the Karens out there, I had kind of, and it's also really comfortable and I've, I've molded it to my face so I can actually breathe in it. Um, I've actually like just come to peace with it. I just, I'm so tired of fighting. Um, I'm also having to fly a lot. And if you don't want to, I mean, as we saw with Brandon getting banned off American Airlines for like doing the same thing he had done on every single flight, which was not to wear a mask. He had never been hassled until they banned him completely from flying on the airlines. I kind of have cooled my jets on the refusal to wear the masks because, you know, I need to keep flying. I'm doing these walk away rallies. Um, it is not, it is just not possible for me not to be flying. And so I've just kind of like made my peace with it and moved on. So I got to tell you today, I went to the airport because I had to come to Chicago for the rally and oh, my God. So I usually, I have been a fan of Delta for the longest time. Unfortunately, Delta no longer flies out of my home airport in Manchester, New Hampshire. I would have to go to Boston for it, which is about a 45 minute to an hour drive, depending on traffic. It's just, it's a lot to do every single week. And so I've kind of just started flying American, even though I hate American Airlines with a passion. Uh, they're still flying out of Manchester. I would fly Southwest, but to be honest, I really like first class. I, I, I do. Um, so I'm, I've been flying American and I gotta tell you guys, I showed up at the airport today to get on my flight within 15 minutes prior to boarding. There were like six different announcements about the mask issue. So I was already like, and then once I got on the plane, there was another like half dozen announcements about the mask issue within a very short period of time. But one of those announcements really shocked me. They actually announced on the plane that they, that what, what did they say? Like, I posted this tweet. Holy S, American Air just announced they were, there were mask exceptions and to be courteous to those who couldn't wear a mask. I'm literally in shock. And I, I was in shock because American Airlines, like all the airlines have been like mask Nazis. They basically been, you cannot fly with us if you don't wear a mask, which for me is an ADA violation. There are medical reasons why people cannot wear masks. There are medical reasons, there are psychological reasons, and those things are covered under the Americans with Disability Act and should absolutely be accounted for. But these airlines have just been basically like, mm -mm -mm. nope, no mask, no flying with us. And so I was actually shocked to hear American Airlines say, please be courteous to people who cannot wear a mask. I, I, I perked up, I was like, what? Because I had already heard like 10 different announcements from them saying, if you don't wear a mask, you're gonna be banned from our airline. And then about a minute and a half later after I tweeted this, wait, false alarm, American Airlines kid, like the stewardess or whatever, um, actually made another announcement saying, no, sorry, everyone has to wear a mask. And I was like, all right, false alarm, American Airlines. And they actually even responded to the tweet I sent saying, sorry for the confusion, only customers under two years old are exempt from our face covering policy. Now at this point, I kind of was thinking, when are people going to start suing over this? Honestly, this is a flagrant violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act to, to actively be discriminating against people who have medical reasons for not being able to wear these stupid masks. It is a flagrant violation. And I thought that there must be lawsuits in the hopper. And I wanna to say too, I also sent out this tweet. The reason I'm really, you know, continuing to talk about this is purely because of this medical issue. I said, for the record, I would be much less uppity about the mask issue if businesses were protecting people who cannot wear masks for legitimate medical conditions. And by the way, based on HIPAA, you do not have to tell anyone what your medical conditions are. But as long as they discriminate against vulnerable populations, I'm gonna keep speaking up on it. I know a lot of people are like, Colin, just wear the mask, just wear the mask. No, dude, like I do wear the mask, but there are some people with medical conditions, legitimate reasons that are not, it's not even just airlines, it's supermarkets, it's thing, it's, it's you know, places like Walmart and Target, places that you need to be able to go to just live your daily life. 
And so I've been thinking, I was like, why aren't more people suing over this? Honestly, if I had a protected medical disability, I would absolutely be suing over this. And then I found out people have started suing over it. So someone sent me this article, 32 lawsuits filed against giant eagle over pandemic mask policy. So we're going to take a look at this and see what people are suing over. This was actually back in June, um, but you know, it shows that th these, there are legitimate cases to be had here. But before we read this article, guys, I'm trying to grow the channel. I really want to hit a hundred thousand subs by election day, totally on track to do it. If you like the content I'm putting out, please consider subscribing, giving it a thumbs up, turning on those notifications, all that good stuff. Let's see what's going on. More than 30 lawsuits have been filed against Giant Eagle over the grocery chain's mask policy, which plaintiffs claim is discriminatory under the American with Disabilities Act. A wave of lawsuits against Giant Eagle began in late May with seven cases filed in federal court. Plaintiffs included residents of, uh, you know, someplace surrounding Pittsburgh that I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of, they described grocery store employees yelling at them and physically escorting them from the premises after they tried to shop without masks. In the span of just three weeks, the number of lawsuits in the region has grown to 32, all represented by attorney Thomas Anderson. Four new lawsuits have been filed this week. The lawsuits argue Giant Eagle's policy surpasses the state or ordered mandate for masks in public places. Governor Tom Wolf's order makes allowances for children and for people with disabilities and customers do not need to undergo a do not excuse me do not need a medical excuse to forego a mask. In a statement in late May, when the first round of lawsuits emerged, Giant Eagle spokesman Dick, Dick Roberts said the chain was reviewing the complaints and declined further comment. Roberts said Wednesday evening that the company had nothing to add at this time. Several of, of the complaints quote the owner of the unnamed Giant Eagle store who allegedly posted publicly, it's too easy to make up an excuse not to wear a mask and we refuse to put our team members and our customers who do not wear a mask at any more risk than they already are. The newest complaints were filed on Tuesday. One came from Tammy Aiken. According to Aiken's complaint, she had a history of lung fibrosis, stroke, and vertigo that limits her breathing and prevents her from wearing a mask. I'm gonna say this too. Like when I posted this tweet on Twitter um, that I was I was continuing to speak out because I was I I feel very strongly that there should absolutely be medical exemptions. I had people saying thank you. My son has autism and a lot of sensory issues. No social contact because of distance learning. Um, you know if someone's gonna harass him if I bring him to the store. We had. You know, thank you for being vocal about this. As someone with medically complex who has nearly fainted during every shopping trip, I have to recover at home, dealing with attacks at times. Thank you for advocating for us. I cannot wear one because I am extremely prone to lung infections. I'm immunosuppressed. I've been asked to leave more stores than I can count, even when I tell them I'm exempt. The stares from the public are even worse, like I'm an outcast worthy of humiliation. Samantha replies, I'm in a similar place. Private businesses have a right to do whatever they want, whether we agree or not, it's a right to do so. Um, I've been harassed as well. And then they go on to say, you know, essentially this, this is covered. This private businesses do not actually have an exemption in this case, I believe, listen, I'm not a lawyer, but this is covered under the Americans with Disability Act. Businesses are required to provide accommodations for people with disabilities. The other lawsuit filed Tuesday was from Karen Duckstein of Seven Fields in, in Butler County. According to her complaint, Duckstein has Vasio valgos, I don't know how to pronounce that, a condition where blood pressure and heart rate suddenly drop, causing her to faint, post-traumatic stress disorder, and a form of anxiety that makes it difficult to breathe while wearing a mask. She, has sh she had shopped at a store without a mask in late May after confirming with the company that she could forgo a mask as long as she had a medical condition. However, when she tried to shop there again on June 8th, she was said that Giant Eagle had reinstated its no exception mask policy. Duckstein said she told the store manager she could have a seizure if she wore a mask. The manager told Duckstein it was store policy, but she continued to shop anyway. Duckstein told the manager she would have to call the police to discuss the matter further. 
A police officer arrived before Duckstein was done shopping and she was escorted out of the store. The store manager took Duckstein's bank card and paid for her groceries while she waited outside with the officer. The complaint said the officer told Duckstein that Giant Eagle was being ridiculous, but he was just doing his job. And it goes on and on. But I just, I guess I want to make the point that, listen, I have said from the beginning of the mask issue that I thought that one of the things that was going to de that was going to happen as a result of people covering the thing they use to express themselves, the thing that one of the things they use to express emotion, I have thought from the beginning that this was going to lead to a lot of people dehumanizing the people around them. And we are seeing this over and over and over again from how businesses treat people who aren't wearing masks to just bystanders on the street. Listen, JetBlue, JetBlue is like last week, they kicked a mother off the plane because her two-year-old, her two-year-old was pulling down the mask. Two years old, kicked them off the flight. This has gotten insane. People are human beings. Uh, most people out there are complying with the mask issue without without fighting it, with the, just like giving in whatever and saying, fine, I just don't feel like fighting anymore. I'm one of those people. But so many people really struggle with this from having small children, children with developmental disabilities, from having different medical conditions that make it hard. We need to start being more forgiving and businesses need to start considering people with medical and other considerations that make it really difficult. And frankly, if you're socially distancing, this wouldn't be an issue anyway. On American Airlines today, one of the things that really bothered me about the whole scenario was masks were supposed to be used originally. Let's go back to March for a second. Masks were supposed to be used when you could not socially distance. That was the purpose. If you could not socially distance, you had to, or you should wear a mask to slow the spread. Guess what? Now we've just stopped socially distancing. On my American Airlines flight today, they sold every single seat. They, well, not every single seat. There were some rows that were left open, like the exit rows were left open, but they were not blocking seats. On Delta and on Southwest that I've flown recently, they are blocking seats. So like in first class, they're only selling one of the seats in each row um, so that you have an empty seat next to you when you get into Delta Comfort and, and uh, the coach cabins. They are blocking out the middle seats. They're not selling them so that you have extra space around you. That actually made me feel much safer flying Delta. I was frankly shocked when I got on American Airlines today and there were people sitting next to other people that were not in the same group, not in the same family, right next to each other. You guys know how airline seats are? So they are not socially distancing at all. Even their flight attendants, American Airlines has said that they've stopped serving food because of social distancing considerations, except that their flight attendants for most of the dang flight were standing literally next to each other. So we've stopped socially distancing because everyone has their security blanket of a mask and people are just not giving other people the consideration and the empathy and compassion that they should for people who struggle with wearing it. I just think it's disgusting. We need to really start increasing the humanity and the empathy and the compassion that we're bringing into the world. I mean, and it starts with you guys. Like you make the choice how you treat people every single day. I know it's not always easy. I'm not always perfect at it either, but we've really got to start treating each other as human beings. Otherwise, I don't even want to know what our country is going to look like a year from now. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this one. I'll see you soon.